In this video I will modify Windows templates from previous video by adding auto on the 10 files to automate first part of Windows installation. I already made the auto on the 10 files and I have them in my GitHub. I will be providing a URL in the description down below. To download the necessary files I will go to my GitHub, click on code and download zip. Let's also go inside and see what's there. As you can see here, there is a command that you will need to create the ISO files. Also, let's go into one of the folders. I made two separate folders for Windows 10 and Windows 11 out on the 10 files. Let's click on Windows 11 and see what's inside. As you can see, the first part in this file is the necessary information to create the partitions in your virtual machines uh, for uh, Windows installation. Also, you can see the part which is selecting which image to install from the ISO file, because one ISO file can have multiple Windows images in it. And that's about it. And as you can see, if we go into Windows 10 one, it's basically the same file, only this part is different. Here we're selecting Windows 10 Pro image instead of Windows 11 Pro image. Okay, now we can go to our downloads folder. And let's use archiving program to unzip the files. Now let's go back to the GitHub page and copy the command I have posted here for creating the ISO images. And let's paste it into the PowerShell window. And as you can see, we will be using a little utility, MKSOFS, that comes with OneWare Workstation. It's a very nice little utility that you can use to create ISO image files. And now we will need to make few changes to this command. First, we will need to change the directory of the source and also we will need to change the directory of our destination. So for that, let's go back to where we have our files. And for the source, we need the root uh, directory where the alternate file is located. So I'll just copy and go back to my terminal. And let's delete this. And that's it for the source. And for the destination, I will be using my downloads directory. I will modify this part. And now let's click enter. And it's done. As you can see, it's It has finished creating our ISO image file with the auto netan file inside of it. I will also do the same for Windows 11. I will modify Windows from Windows 10 to Windows 11 here. And also here and run the command again. And as you can see, now I have two auto and ISO files. Now we can go to VMware Workstation and modify our template. To modify our template, first we need to disable the template, the template mode. And to do that, let's click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, Options, Advanced, and let's remove this check mark. Yes, okay. And now let's restore uh, this template to Windows 10 snapshot. Let's click Edit Virtual Machine Settings again. Click Add. And let's add another CD DVD drive. And click Finish. Here, let's select Use ISO Image File. And now we need to browse to our Auto Unattend ISO files. 
So here I will be selecting Windows 10 Auto on the end file. Click open and OK. And now we need to make another snapshot. So take snapshot, I will name it underscore Windows 10 Auto on the end and click take snapshot. And now we need to repeat the steps for Windows 11. So let's go back to our template, right click it, go to snapshots and let's restore to Windows 11 template. Okay, now click on edit virtual machine settings, add CD DVD drive, finish, select use ISO image file, browse, downloads, and let's select our Windows 11 auto on it then file and click OK. Now let's make another snapshot. Windows 11 auto on attend. Take snapshot. And also now we need to turn back on the template mode. So back to settings, options, advanced and enable template mode. And OK. Now we can use our modified template to create uh, Windows 11 and then virtual machines and see what happens. So let's right click on our template, go to snapshots, I, I mean manage and clone. Click next. I will be creating Windows 11 first. I will name it Win 11 and click finish. Let's do the same for Windows 10. I will select Windows 10 out on the end here. Click next, next. Rename it to Win 10. Finish. And let's run both of them. Now let's wait a bit and see how the installation process looks now. As you can see, currently the Windows installation is loading. Let's check on our Windows 10 virtual machine. And as you can see, our Windows 10 virtual machine already started uh, copying files to our to our system for uh, the setup process and same goes for Windows 11. So let's wait a bit and see what happens next. And as you can see here, after loading the files into the virtual machine, it started the out of the box experience for the Windows 11 virtual machine. Same goes for Windows 10. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to automate the out of the box experience so that after you create a virtual machine, it also it starts the in Windows installation and completes all the necessary steps in the out of the box experience so that you can start using uh, your virtual machine right away. So see you in the next video.